The following video presents ranting and commentary from Nick, who is chopped right now because of quarantine. Your discussion is advised. Hey, it's your boy Face on back here with another video. Today, we gotta go back to the GOAT. We gotta go back to the GOAT. He said, okay, he may or may not be the GOAT, but like, feel me? We going back to a guy who apparently is the realest nigga alive. Yeah, so feel me? He talking about some real man cheat. Let's see what he, let's see what knowledge he gonna bring to us today. Is it gonna be factual? Like, is it gonna be factual? Unlike last time, is it gonna be talking about billion dollars for uh, some? For mopping some, mopping some man piece. Is it gonna be like that? I don't know. But let's watch this and let's check it out. Feel me? Forgive me for I have not made a serious video in quite some time now, and I promise you that I will make a video based on what real niggas do. And I am the realest nigga alive, to be quite. You heard it here, folks. You heard it here, folks. Be honest with you. Now, I keep being asked to make a video. What do I think of cheaters? Now, tell me something. Usually, when you see a perfect guy, he has a perfect face, he has a perfect body, and he has an amazing personality, he takes care of women well, and he's faithful, and he's just the best guy in the world. What do you think? There's gotta be something wrong with everyone, right? So, you got a small dick. Now what if he had a big dick? And I'm not talking big as in like an Italian sausage big. I'm not talking big as in as in horse dick. I'm talking big as in rhinoceros dick. You know, the girth, the, the thick Chipotle burrito shit that hits every crevice behind your walls and hits every ribbed corner of your apartment complex within your endocrine Yo, this nigga is wild. Demolishing your ovaries. So what's the situation here? You've got a perfect guy, perfect face, perfect body. Nigga's sexy as fuck. Better than Trey Songz. He got his eyebrows done. He got a nice clean shave. Or if you're into beards, he got a beard. Whatever you find attractive. He got the perfect personality. If a nigga knows how to eat right, how to treat him right, he says the right things. He does the right things. And he looks good. And he has a big ass dick. He's a cheater. How do you think he learns how to say all the right things? It's all practice. Listen. There's nothing wrong with cheating. Look, it's all kinda practice. Okay, you're heartbroken, you're jealous. I don't blah, know blah, about blah. that. Nah, 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 nah. Listen to me. She kind of spitting. Like I said, he's kind of spitting. But cheating is not valid. Would you rather your man come home not knowing how to eat your pussy? If you're giving your man's pussy only once every couple of weeks, what do you think is going to happen? He's going to get rusty. He's not going to be that good. He don't got practice. He's going to bust in like five seconds. You feel me? Let's make an analogy here. For real. For real. For real. I'm not being real. I'm being for real. I'm dead being for real. I'm dead for real. You think I'm being real? I'm dead not. I'm dead not. I'm being for real. Like for real. For He's real. tweaking, no, bro. Ass. Think about it. Okay, let's say I pledge to play in a salsa band. Okay, I practice at home. But that's the equivalent of just masturbating. How do you get better at sex by masturbating? Really? You don't really get better at playing in a band by playing with yourself. So I go and I play a couple of gigs with a gospel band on the side. Play a couple of gigs with a nice little fusion band on the side. You know, just keeping my chops up today. Because if I'm playing... He do... I, he, I think he actually do stuff with music. Fusion band, bro. Maybe salsa, maybe gospel, but fusion. With the salsa band, only once a week, I'm gonna get rusty. I'm not getting enough practice. I'm not getting enough exposure. You feel me? I gotta learn new things, you know? Learn new kind of styles of music. Learn different new bands. It's the same thing with girls, you feel me? I can't get rusty. I gotta learn my ins and outs. Oh, yeah, and if you're hearing like some kind of worrying in the back, it's a song because it's too. I gotta learn different ways to do shit. I gotta keep on poor Paul to keep my main girl happy. Now, you might be thinking, Jeffrey, what if you get one of these other girls pregnant? That's the equivalent of his name my is Jeffrey in the gospel choir, and then I don't have nothing to play with when I'm in the salsa band. That's when cheating becomes a problem. I'm not gonna even lie, that is a bad analogy because at the end of the day. You could go get your soul at the end of the day you could go get your saxophone back the next day 
When you're giving so much attention to all the other girls that you just stop paying attention to your main girl and you stop giving her what she deserves or her real role and place. Listen, I could play with all of these different bands, but at the end of the day, I'm a salsa player. You know what I'm saying? Now, I could fuse all of my different styles and everything that I learned into that salsa band. You know, it's made me better, but it's not going to make me change. A man can cheat and still love his wife the same way a person can sin and still love God. Do you honestly? Yeah, I don't see what's the big deal, because it's like, I'm just going and getting my practice. Like, what? Yo, he's spitting. But he's not spitting. But he's no. He's kind of spitting, but he's not spitting. But he's kind of spitting. But he's not spitting. But he's kind of spitting. But he's not. But he What's the big deal about shit? It's like y'all really blowing minds. Like y'all really going crazy. Y'all going nuts for no reason. Like y'all really going crazy. You getting Yo, bro. In my mentality, of this if you cheat, you cheat. And feel me, you a cheater. And you need to fix that. Yo, bro, like, can't be out here cheating. Crazy for what? For what? Like, we out there getting practice. We making ourselves better so we can get home and please y'all. And don't just think that it's all sexual stuff. It's psychological as well. Because you have to learn how to say the right things. I got to practice how to charm ladies. You think I'm, um, um, you, you think I'm really getting girls because of my looks? Do I really that look cute enough for you? Do I really look cute enough for you? He said that last time too. So ladies, I know you got a man that you gave him a second chance. You know what I'm saying? If you give him a second chance, come on. He's gonna cheat again. You're just trying to keep him happy. At the end of the day, the end justify the means. If you a man and you cheating, some nah. Doing it, you feel me? Some going on with your life. Cause all you're doing is getting practice. It's making you better. Remember when you was with that side bitch and she told you how to not nut in 30 seconds? And you giving it to your wife better? You got all that rust off of you so you could be perfect for your wife, you know? As long as you wrap up, as long as you take care of yourself, as long as you don't get an STD and bring it home, it's all Gucci, you feel me? Y'all girls would rather us lie to you than to be honest. I don't understand that. Why, why I can't come home and be like, babe, I did ass just hit some girl and I did fucked up. I nut it quick, you know, but I learned from it, you know? So now tonight, it's gonna be all good. You know, Yo, I'm gonna say bro. the right thing because I already practiced my charm. I already practiced my addiction. You know, I already pra practiced everything that I needed to do in order to become a better lover with everybody else. People see cheaters in such a negative light. How about you change your perspective for a moment? How about you play devil's advocate for one moment? Start to understand. Start to understand perspective. There's two main laws to the land. And one of them is not thou shalt not cheat. There's only two of them. It's perspective and circumstance. Oh, you cheated? Is that bad? Hmm, let me think. What were the circumstances? Now, let me think in your perspective to see if I would take the same action that you did. Just think for a moment. Open up your mind. Open up your heart. Just like I said in my other video. Open up your mind. Open up your heart. Open up your mouth. Start eating ass. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. He always got to slide that little something in. Like, he always got to slide it in, bro. Like, what's your vibe? Matter of fact. First step into becoming an open-minded person. Once you eat ass, you just see the whole entire world into a whole new different life. Everything becomes different to you because you went down a road that nobody admittedly goes to. You feel me? You start to become a real nigga. Ask me more questions. This is your boy, the realest nigga alive. You really think that I care what you think about what I'm saying, but I just don't. Ultimately, cheating is wrong. Regardless of what, whatever happens, bro, cheating is wrong. Feel me? I get what he's trying to say. Men don't think like how women do. Men don't go over cheat and then think about that girl all the time. A true man doesn't. Because they really don't care. That's why they don't say anything, sign anything, they're not trying to please her. But if it's your main one, you're usually trying to please her. Nah, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's just, it's just wrong, bro. He bugging. But you know, he is the realest nigga alive. So like, comment, subscribe, guys. Cause feel me, we gotta go up there. We going up there, road to 1K, feel me.
after that I rolled to 10k, I rolled to 50k, then 100k, then 500k, then 100,000 k I'm bugging bro, a million k, yeah, I'm gonna catch up. I was on that block on my lonely, I did it all on my own, I don't need help Spilling them blocks in the holy, a lot of shit that I know I will never tell These niggas claim they know me, but it's some lanes, what's your name, it don't ring a bell Missing my dog, I'm going through so much pain, but I'm still here, raising hell I'm with a gang, I'm with a squad, I'm with the mob We let it bang, don't care where you find, don't care